guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and a new game for our channel. This is City Skylines. It's a city building game. It's pretty famous and I think it's a few years old, right? Yeah, I think it's two or three years old, but this is your first time playing. You've actually played more well, than me. You've played a couple of cities. This is my very first city that I'm building right now in this video. The video is going to be about, I would say, 20 or so odd minutes, but the footage is sped up. So this is not live. This is me just talking over video that we've already recorded. So any mistakes that are going to be made in the video with me building and whatnot. <laughs> I think I've tried to cut out the more like idiotic mistakes. Okay. Well, this was... Ha you said I've made two towns, you've uh -huh. made one. Mm -hmm. How many towns did you make before you actually got to the point where you had one single dweller? Well, first of all, <laughs> it took me a really long time just to learn like the game mechanics. I did watch, you know, Let's Plays and I looked at tips and they were all like, oh, you know, these are the like top five things we would do to make a great city and all that. But I was still stuck on like, how do you freaking build a road, you know, and make yeah. a curved road that makes sense. So it did take me a while to figure out those aspects of things. Um, but and you wanted it to look pretty. You yeah. Want, you like, this is not good enough. Yeah. Scrap the whole thing. I was like, no, you can just rebuild. <laughs> I was like, no. No, because I don't have money to rebuild. This is not good enough for my dwellers, so... Because the, the idea is that I do have some plans for how I would like the a city to look once I'm done, you know, or at least got it to a good spot. And so that means I do have like districts planned out. I want different spaces to be used for different things. So I'm not just building like in one corner and then spreading it from that corner. You know, I'm trying to yeah. like lay out the roads to plan for how I want the city to look in the future. So basically that's what I've been doing, you know, while we've been talking. I built a double highway coming in from the entrance to the area, which is the two rivers, by the way. We chose the... Oh, that's what I'm doing as well. Yeah. I chose the two rivers and I'm sure maybe you chose it because we've been reading Wheel of Time, which is a fantasy book series and the first location and where the main characters are from is the two rivers. Yep. So the fact that there is a location like that in City Skylines made me want to choose it. And also it just seemed like it had good stats, like there was a, like 78% buildability in the area that you start with, right. okay. and good resources and things like that. So basically, yeah, I have set out a double highway entering. It goes into a roundabout, which I've already upgraded to like multiple lanes. Then it goes south to another roundabout, which will be my entrance to both the commercial district and a residential district. So the three parallel roads that you saw me build are for neighborhoods, like residential stuff, and the roundabout will eventually go to more businessy stuff. And right now I'm placing water pump for the river and sewage drain for the river and connecting them with pipes which was another thing I had to figure out how to do thanks to you and your advice. That took us a while to sort out because it's been a, a long time since I played mm. uh, but yeah the key thing is to have the collection of water well upstream from the sewage. Let out yeah. the sewage so it goes downstream. <laughs> yes. I think I almost killed all of my first town. <laughs> like I had a population of 10,000 or something, then it went down to like 2,000 because <laughs> we're all dying because water was going the wrong way. It was bad. Yeah, I tweeted a picture of the game saves that we've been <laughs> using for City Skylines, and it's a good idea, especially with two people playing the game at the same time, to use very descriptive save names <laughs> so that we both know which town it is and what's going on in the town when we reopen it. And you had one that was like, they're all dying of sewage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I had one that was like, bleeding money, WTF. Like, because that's, you'll see it's going to happen. I'm going to start losing money. Eep. Yeah. But you've got a nice little town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your, all your practice means you've got the basics worked out fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got a nice early place for people to live. Got these cool roundabouts. I tried to build my own roundabout and it was not very good. By hand, from scratch? Yeah, yeah. for my main town. That's actually like, people don't come in that way anymore. I've now got highways and such. Yeah. Uh, going on. I thought you were doing built up. Oh, your electricity. This yeah. is electricity. Yeah. yeah. Also, that having to learn how to properly connect things and make sure everything was on the grid. So you see, like, uh, I need to have houses built. So um, you got a zone. He's got a zone. Yeah, I thought you were trying to zone before, but now we're going to get to some full on zoning because there's mm -hmm. a very, very strong need for residential buildings. You've got those three bars next to Maketopia, just to the right of Maketopia, telling us this is, yeah, what the needs are for the city. We have named the town Maketopia. Yeah, which is 
Because. Because. Yeah. Because your Minecraft Pocket Edition town was named Megtopia, so yeah. I'm going to call this one Megtopia. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. And yeah, we have a very strong demand for residences. You've got to still do some. You've got some zoning. Mm -hmm. Got your first house. First Are you going to get your first person Yay! being built? Haven't got any residences. Residents. Well, they're not built yet. Yeah, no, but they're on their way. They're on their way. Yeah. And these roads will change a bit in future videos as I like redo the roads to make more sense. And you know, this is right now me spending what money I have to get started. And then as I lose money and make more money. I'll be making changes to the city. Obviously, every city has to grow and... and 15 uh, people! Yay, 15 people! <laughs> oh, 35! Wow! Yeah, see, growing, growing by fast. leaps and bounds, this tiny town. Um, Ooh, they need water. Yes. Oh, it's just outside. In. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that because at the beginning you don't have that much cash. Mm -hmm. So I know you want to design it so it's all lovely. But soon, at least for me, I found out I've got so much more cash than I had at the start that I could just like rip up my whole first bit of town and just move everything. So I ended up in my town I'm playing now because I wasn't happy with where I put my sewage or where I put my electricity farm things, like power generators. I just moved them to a completely different part of the map. Yeah, well, Which you... is expensive, but by then I had enough money. Yeah, so and how long, how many days of playing do you think it took you to get I, to that level? I don't know, I think well, I'm now at like 2030. We started at 2017 in the calendar in the app. Oh, you mean the year? Yeah, yeah. I was talking about like left. real life. How many days of playing did it take oh, you to get no, to this? Oh no, the hours for my my two rivers. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna say like I don't know, five to ten hours. Oh really? That's not too bad, I guess. I've been playing it that much. We played it in the evenings a bunch. Yeah. So playing over like a series of days, I guess you know here and there. Yeah. Yeah, you can keep growing. But you I... thought that it just gets easier as I you go on so. because you get more currency and you have more resources to be able to do what you want. Yeah, as soon as you start going in the black mm -hmm. uh, for your currency, like how much money you're bringing in, things start to get easier. Can you just leave it for a little bit and just make money? Yeah, I had to do that yeah. <laughs> at one point because I like spent myself down to almost zero and then basically just had to wait for the town to make enough money back again. Yeah, when I was first playing though, I remember being way harder than this time, either because I've just been watching more videos and watching you play, or maybe there have been updates to the game that kind of tweak some of the more mm -hmm. annoying, frustrating things and just make it a bit more logical, I'm not sure. But I found that the, the beginning of the game is tough. I think you found that particularly this one, but it's your very first time. But after that, once you get in kind of the middle game, it seems to get easier, then you have to worry more about traffic and stuff like that. Yeah. And obviously you can see there's tons of different things you have to worry about. But the game's really good at introducing them to you slowly as your town gets bigger and bigger. You unlock, say, garbage collection, then you unlock fire. So until you unlock fire, you don't need to worry about putting in fire stations. Yeah. Unless you you know you don't have enough money to, to build, to build fire a fire station, station then... which, which we will see. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Um, no, I, I agree. The, the game pacing is pretty good. Like, they keep in mind what you as a beginner to the game will be able to handle versus not. I have heard that the first city that you ever build will probably be your worst because, you know, you just so. learn the game over and over again and each yeah. new city that you build, the better it is. We are, by the way, playing a totally vanilla version of City Skylines. There are going to be no mods in this series and I'm not doing any, like, currency cheats or anything like that. I'm just kind of try and learn the game build things, you know, naturally and within the, like, rules, so to speak. I might be interested in future, you know, trying to build something with mods or infinite money just to see what I can accomplish, but I think I want to first learn the game, and I figure yeah. doing a vanilla Let's Play would be the best way to learn the game. So as you can see, I've got green zone over here for residential, I've got blue for commercial, and then over here I've got the beginnings of my industrial area. Oh, very nice. Yeah, so I want that to be a bit separate from the residence and commercial districts. So because of the noise and, importantly, the pollution exactly. the industry puts out. Yeah. I'm not sure that this will stay here because I have sort of plans for the riverfront and all of that later. But for now, you know, instead of like having things miles and miles apart and having to string plumbing and electricity over miles, I've decided to just put it over here next to this roundabout. Yeah, because money is still tight at this stage of the mm -hmm. game. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I heard something today, by the way, about roundabouts when mm -hmm. I was watching a video earlier this morning. Yeah. That actually, if you convert your roundabouts themselves to be highways, yeah. that makes them run much more efficiently. Which is what I did with my very first one. Oh, uh, is you that saw, a highway? Like, I upgraded. Well, it's like a 
six lane no thing, actually you know highway you haven't oh, got any highways oh that's right yeah definitely i haven't up- upgraded highways but yeah, yeah that'd be great to have not have traffic intersections or traffic signals in yeah, a roundabout apparently highways is the way to do it yeah i've been experimenting with highways in my two rivers town and mm-hmm. Doing some fun stuff. Oh, look at all those people coming in. Yay, going to work. <laughs> Make me some money. As you can see, I'm still losing money. I'm still in the red at yeah. the very bottom. I've got 10,000 and minus 400 Eep. or so every day or something. Well, it's going down though, as in the amount that you are losing every day is decreasing. <laughs> and soon, hopefully, yeah. on this trend, you will start to make some money. But the number of townspeople you have is growing. Yeah. That's a good thing. That's going to bring in some more money. Hopefully. But we've got to turn this profit, around, turn ourselves <laughs> into a profit soon. Otherwise, we're just going to go straight into the red. Yeah, I'm still not. I say we. It's you. Well, you're giving me <laughs> tips and stuff, so you share ownership of the town. I would say uh-huh. in that respect. But you can see, if it like, does well, I do. Because I'm still in the beginning stages, and because I've got so little money, I'm trying to be very careful about spending but here i've now hit my first milestone Yay. population of 420 little hamlet so i can now have education garbage healthcare i can build you know the particular buildings that come along with that and i got a little boost of some currency so that's going to be helpful and too. now you're also able you're making profit all the time as well um that's not gonna i don't know if that's gonna you're last on, you're on a plus anyway yeah one video i watched a couple of them said put it to 11 percent and don't think about For taxes. it taxes yeah i think when i was last playing which i think was soonish maybe six months after the game came out mm-hmm. there was still nighttime and daytime cycle which i think there still is but i think by default now it seems to be turned off yeah and i remember having to worry way more about um like doing budgets so i would increase the budget i'd basically play with my budgets all the time Mm-hmm. to try and put a little money into education. I don't know why I was doing that, rather than just building another school, but maybe money was much tighter. Because you were trying to be realistic, maybe. Yeah, now I actually haven't touched them at all in my game. I don't know if you really touched them. And no, I haven't. Yeah, so I'm this now, is my yeah. landfill that I just placed, and Very I now want good. to put a medical clinic, basically spending the money that was given to me for <laughs> hitting this bonus. That's what it's for. Yeah, so I want to put the medical clinic in the commercial district, because I think that just makes sense, so I've put it there off of this second roundabout and as you can see I've got an elementary school now that I want to place and I want to place that in a residential area because I figure uh, that makes sense. People like to have elementary schools in neighborhoods to like keep the neighborhood safe and keep it close enough to houses that you know people can go to or at least that's my experience. Neighborhoods that I grew up in, elementary schools were generally part of neighborhoods. They weren't like in the middle of the city for instance. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, on the whole, because you want kids to be able to walk there sometimes, or parents to be able to Mm -hmm. walk the kids to school. And I'm not going to be leaving the elementary school here just to, like, let you guys know ahead of time, but this is the best place I can put it. I didn't like the fact that, like, I didn't quite understand how much space I had to place the elementary school in the roads. Up until that dotted line. Exactly, so. For now, you can expand. For now, I will put it there, and later we'll move it. Smiley, smiley people. Yeah, so now I have, as you can see, spent all my money it's down to 2000 coins you're still making a profit every week <laughs> it's not you're gonna still, be you know people is growing mm. slowly slowly <laughs> oh no why haven't they not got electricity oh you're not got enough electricity you need another wind farm exactly i need to place another wind farm i think i went straight to coal because i thought it would just be cheaper i think that might be what i end up doing i think um this well you need to wait because oh, you've yeah, got any money. money no money oh is this what did i do oh at this point? no you need some more money mm-hmm. everyone's going to have a blackout and not be happy <laughs> with you as their overlord mayor are you the mayor i don't know uh yeah i guess i am I the think what I Mictavia. might end up doing is taking out a loan. See, Ooh, I've got ouch. all these these buildings that are coming oh, up with no, no power. How can people go to work in the commercial district when they've got no power? And Not good. You're still making a tiny bit of money, but I don't know how much money. I think you need a lot more money. Exactly. <laughs> to get that power. Even going. the clinic doesn't have enough power. Ouch. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. So as you can see, like in my quest to use the buildings that were unlocked for me, I spent myself into a little bit of a hole already. So already, um, yep, gonna take out a loan. Take it. Do 20, it. Twenty thousand, five percent interest payment plan over fifty-two weeks. You know. But now I have enough money. Don't spend it all, please. <laughs> Are you going to spend it all? I can't make any promises. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Why are you you there? <laughs> I don't know. See, I, I understand that there's a zone of influence for it, but I also like want things to be aesthetically pleasing. Yes. Like I don't want to I've just done. put things just because they have like a zone and put them like right in the middle of everything. I want there to, you know, make some sense and look pretty by the riverfront and all of that. 
<laughs> I know it's silly. No, no. Uh, so I said I moved all of my nasty stuff to the mm -hmm. other side of the river when I could eventually expand. Mm -hmm. I'm just watching your money because you've got to pay back yeah. your loan like 400 a week. Yep. And you were making 300 a week. <laughs> so I think my, it might now be slowly dipping into the negative. Yes, as you can see, it is Purely going down. Purely because of the loan. I told you. I warned you that was going to happen. Oh, dear. So garbage is piled up at this house. I don't know why. Uh, the industrial section, they want to have more workers, like I'm basically having to build more neighborhoods. And, yeah, you just need yeah. more peeps. Yeah. The other thing, um, I can't remember whose video it was, but a great tip was just for starting out, which I watched again before we started playing it now, was just because you can build a clinic or a school, don't build it unless people are asking for it. Yeah, yeah, I know. So that was good. So that I think saved me in the start of my most recent games. Like, I'm not going to just buy everything. So I was able to stay in the black, or I was just lucky. Uh, because I don't think I bought a school until people were like, we, we need school. They were yeah. doing fine without a school. I think eventually you will see that I will have some of these worker, these uh, employers asking for more educated employees. Yeah, yeah. So at that point, but then. Yeah, again, it's a matter of do you have enough money to build the thing that they're asking for and how long can they wait before you give it to them? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I think these games are a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. and we played SimCity Build It a bit on the phone, but definitely I prefer like a bigger full-on HD, you know, full-on PC experience. And there's yeah. all these different things you can manage. There's, we were saying before, there's all these different panels you've got to manage your fire, your traffic, your police, your health, your education. And right now, because, yeah, I think once you get the game in an okay state. It's kind of a peaceful thing to do, a bit like building in Minecraft. You just need to watch everything and when there's no power, go and add another power station and hopefully you've got the money to do it. Mm -hmm. And it's just a fun, fun, creative thing to do. I mean, the difference between a free-to-play freemium mobile game and a PC game like this, like, it's very clear. This is much more powerful. You know, you drop whatever amount of money the game costs, and then you can just do whatever the heck you want to within, you know, the limits of the game. Obviously, you can, you know, do your cheats or whatever to get the mods and infinite money, but you still have, like, a relatively quick-paced game, which is very powerful, and you can do a lot of things in a short amount of time, compared to a freemium or free-to-play game where you've got to, like, mine for resources and build things and wait real time, real minutes before you can do anything. So, you know, there's just something to be said for a game like this and the freedom that it gives you over something like SimCity Mobile or what, which was it? SimCity Build It? Sim yeah. City, yeah, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. I and mean, I think a lot of the strategy for the freemium games, which is, is fun as well, mm -hmm. is just saying, okay, how can I play this in a free-to-play way and achieve the goals I want, like unlock the characters I want or yeah. get the building I want. And that is fun. It's fun uh, if you have the patience for it, obviously. Yeah, and you're also kind of fighting against the game a little bit, but that is part of the point. That That's a fun strategy. For these games, it's the game strategy is built for you to develop your town, so it's a different experience. Mm -hmm. But this is actually, I think this did not cost us very much at all. We got this on sale, it's often on sale on Steam, and yeah, it's actually really, really good value. The mods are all free on the Steam mod store, whatever that thing's called, mm -hmm. so I think it's a really good value game. Um, we've certainly been having a lot of fun playing it over the last week or so. And your town's doing well. You're still making profit every week. Yay. <laughs> 600. You're doing well. 620 people. I yeah. think you, you flashed up before the next milestone, I think, is at 800 or so. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah. Electricity. I need more electricity. I'm not sure I'll hit that next milestone in this video. It'd be nice. I can't remember exactly where I cut it. But uh, basically, yeah, this is my neighborhood area growing a bit. I'm yeah. having a bit of a grid pattern right now. I will break out of the grid pattern. You'll see in... Uh, later video, but for now I just want that to be a bit organized as like my base off of the first, the second roundabout here, and then have some more like space to make it a little more curved roads, a little more organic feeling. But for now, grid system. It's yeah. the easiest thing that I know it how is, to do. I mean, it's obviously densest in terms of money spent on roads and mm -hmm. water and everything. It's the cheapest. And also, so far, things I've been playing, I'm not an expert at this at all, but it seems to be it's the way of getting traffic managed the best. You think so? Yeah, like the bits of my map that aren't that have traffic problems are like the weird higgledy-piggledy bits. Oh, sure. And they're the hardest to correct because like, well, how can... I've just got to remove all the higglediness but to a, make it work again. But a roundabout is still more efficient than a straight-on 90-degree intersection. Yeah, I guess so, yeah, yeah. So mixing the grid with some of these on-off ramp areas with 
yeah. ramps or roundabouts. So we got another building saying, I think it was the clinic saying that there wasn't enough power. So、Eve. I'm trying to debate whether to press another you need to wind turbine into service. Your power's going into the, into the red there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So got to keep your eye on all of those little thingies. Yeah, that's the thing too. I'm still like getting used to all the different things I have to monitor. And all the little tweets that I'm getting from the citizens. Oh, I don't read those、so、at all. So whiny. It's like, yay, oh yay! So I reached, yeah, another. I've reached the worthy, the worthy village milestone. So that gives me another extra boost of money, which means I can not mess with a wind turbine, right? I can put in my coal power plant. I think this is the point where <laughs> I do it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Does it need a road? Yes, it does. Of course. All these things need a road. Well, don't the they? wind turbines don't. Oh need no,、road. they don't. But this is me. I think giving up the ghost on another、yeah. wind turbine. At some point, I will decide. I don't need that. I'm just going to put in the coal.、Go、I think because、it. the wind turbine, I liked it because it was supposed to be like less pollution, right? Yeah. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> so、It's、now here's me realizing I just put down the coal power plants, and I'm going to put that next to the landfill, I believe. Yeah. Put all your dirty things together. Yep. Do it. Do it. Yay! And that was expensive, nineteen thousand. So that was like half、mm. of my money spent right、yeah. there. <laughs> But it does mean that I can bulldoze a few more of these things、yeah. out of the way, these、uh, power lines, so that it's a little more clean looking.、And、cool. Yeah. That's looking good. Not bad. Not bad. But all that smoke. Getting into the air, yikes! It's okay. You can even see the pollution leaching out into the ground around your industrial. Oh,、area. really? That's、yeah. what that is. Wow. Yeah. So now I have policies I can set. I want to set efficient power usage and water usage. Don't go and... crazy. I know, I know. You told me that, but I thought, why not? Um, because you have to experiment. Like you don't、It's、know、true. how much things are gonna like actually take out of your budget until you try them. So yeah, I just decided to go for some eco-friendly policies. And here I'm creating my districts. So. The neighborhoods will be the strawberry district, and this will be the industrial park. Makes sense, right? Yeah, I guess it does what it says.、Mm-hmm, exactly. So that gives my city a bit of organization. My, you know, two whole districts that there are in existence. <laughs> yeah, but it's working well. Like profits continuing to rise, populations continuing to rise. You got need to make some more of everything. It looks like you need to、mm-hmm. start expanding. Something, maybe this little grid area here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna, like I said, make this less of a grid area for the future, and maybe you know expand southward and make things look not so straight lined all the time. It's gonna be、yeah. you know roads with a little more curvature to them and a little more flair, I guess. Yeah. But then that also means less efficient use of space, right?、Uh, exactly, and also potential more traffic problems and. I, I like the thing about straight ones is you can have big houses. If you have a lot that's one square by one square, here you're doing like four by four those blocks.、Uh-huh. Then you can get a big house、oh. rather than a tiny house. Okay. So some of them have these really spindly office towers or commercial things as opposed、yeah. to a big, say, department store. So、well, it doesn't look as nice as just having lots of. Big stores. Okay, I admit that I haven't yet gotten like so close up to like inspect the different houses、yeah. and what they look like. I have gotten a little close up, but you know I'm not looking for mansions just yet, or I guess I haven't had the land space to create mansions just、yeah. yet. And all the stuff is gorgeous in here. I think there's buildings and things that get on that you can have with mods、mm-hmm. to really level it up too.、Mm. And there's an amazing mod where you can click on somebody and take the Like from their head perspective, you can see the <gasps> eye view、Ooh. as they drive or walk around the city. Ah,、oh, that does sound cool. It does sound agreed. Okay. It, yeah. That At might some be point something. We'll get it. I don't know what it.、Yeah. It's easy to find out what it's called. It's one, and it's just it's really cool. Not for all the time, but for just say, hey, what's let's just zoom around the town. Yeah,、let's、I can see.、It. Yeah, maybe adding that to our vanilla let's play just for a little perspective.、Yeah. And I missed that camera button right down in the bottom. Oh, right, I haven't even which used I haven't that. Pressed that at all. You don't know what it's for. No,、okay. <laughs> I haven't tried it. All right, all right, all right. But it does look beautiful. You can see your little people walking around the streets, getting in their cars, parking their cars. Yes.、Yeah, so I now have the ability to build a fire department, police department, and I think it was what was it, graveyards or something? No, something else. I can't remember. Maybe, maybe you got to deal with death. Yeah. And gradually unlock more buildings. So if we get like a cemetery later on, you can get a crematorium.、Mm-hmm. Well, for now, I'm trying to figure out where I can best place. A fire station and a police station that I don't have the money to pay for. <laughs> oh no! Just wait. Yeah. Well, I think at some point I will see that buildings are 
are uh, experiencing crime, and so I, I feel like there will be some urgency to put a police station down at least. But Deep. you know, for now, I, I don't have the money, <laughs> and I'm just in a holding pattern. So you just need more houses and to speed up gameplay to yeah. earn that cash quicker. Yeah. So I think we're getting to the end of this first video. In the next video, we'll, there will be you know even more growth. The city will change a bit in some of the layout, as I promised, and hopefully a bit smoother as I figure out all the different things I should be monitoring and paying attention to, and also spending some more big bucks once I make them. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, so you can see there's a little glowy crime man there. Oh no, yes. you got a criminal. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to need that oh, police station soon, I guess. Yeah, I just think this is a really fun game to play. I also really do enjoy watching Let's Plays. I think Coralis is on season three. Mm. And I found them all really enjoyable. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing our first City Skylines mm -hmm. videos. I uh, hope you're interested in seeing more. If you are, leave a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Yep. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more City Skylines on the way. Thanks for watching.